Bobby Lopez here, and today we're going to talk about the three greatest lies of all time. Keep a stiff left arm, keep your head still, and I'm from the government. I'm here to help you. None of those are true. Benny Crenshaw. Where did his head go? Not only back, but it went up. All right, now, watch this. We're going to pick on the man, the man, that I think there were stories about Jack Rock grabbing his hair. I'm surprised he still has it. Now, this guy right here has won 18 majors. I've won 18 Cuban sandwiches on South Jose Street, Miami. <laughs> so, yes, I'm going to say, Lopez, you're full of crap. Yeah, I might be. But I'll tell you what. The video doesn't lie, Your Honor. This is indisputable evidence. Watch what's going to happen. He's going to pull right out of the stinking spine angle of everything we tell you not to do. Look at this. Hmm? And now watch. Watch where his head's going to go. Hmm? Hmm? He's backing up. Why? Because this left shoulder better get on top of that ball in a hurry. See? Otherwise, he's off sides. Look at this. Is if that's not enough, you look at a couple of guys like Bernhard Langer and also Gene Sowers, and their head goes backwards. Watch. Here's Bernhard. I want your head to go backwards. There it goes. Boom. Why? Because he's got to get the tip of the left shoulder to the ball. Because if his left shoulder is anywhere past that golf ball, he's offsides. Now, you got a couple of you got a couple of ways to go about this. You know. You can't think always that's one thing that kills me. So many people they look at something, they go, Well, it has to be like this. No, it don't. I mean, Bernhardt's is not just like Nicholas, but they're very similar and why? Because I mean I know Bernhardt and I used to play golf together when we were he was about sixteen and I was twenty three in Spain. And you know, we grew up in the Nicholas era. We all wanted to copy Nicholas. Huh? Do you think? So that's why we went in that direction. Same thing with Gene Sowers. Nicholas was his big uh, hero. We all had to have a hero of some kind. Here's you know who. There he is. Let's put a line by his head. See that? Where does he end up? Tip the left shoulder to the ball at impact. You can't put your head on top of the golf ball and have your left shoulder on top of the golf ball at the same time. It just ain't happening. It ain't happening. So now here's a couple of ways you can go about this. Because they don't all do it the same way. Here's John Rieger. Pretty long hitter on the senior tour. He's a big guy. Makes sense. He should hit it far. Watch what he does. He makes a big move back here in the first place. Right off the bat. Where Nicholas and Langer, for as examples, they stay steady here and then they back up on the way down. Bottom line is, though, after impact, their body is tilted this way. His body is tilted this way. That's the bottom line. Whether you go there stay there and swing let's look at Benny he lifts up and out of the spine angle a little bit here see now watch he stays back there well, what does he get tip of the left shoulder to the ball at impact look at the tilt in his bottom so whether you keep your head still on the way back and then you back up on the way down or whether you go back on the back of the backswing and then keep it there while you come down. Who cares? The bottom line is, here's where the misnomer was. All this information about keep your head still, that that was going to help your golf swing. No, it was get your left shoulder lined up with the ball at impact. It would have been a better thing for them to tell. Hmm? You think? If you're not sure where you are, it impact. Pick up your cell phone or whatever you got. Take a video of your swing and send it to me. 
and I'll do a complete analysis and I won't charge you a penny. No, you got to send me a Cuban sandwich, we'll call it. <laughs> Bobby Lopez at quickfixgolf.com. Just send it to me and do a front view and a down view. Just one swing each. Don't send me 50 swings. And then, uh, and I'll take a look at it, send it right back to you, give you a complete analysis and attach a drill for you to do. All right? Get to work on your golf game.